I dare ye enter the Dungeons of Daggerath. <clears throat> Dungeons of Daggerath is actually an RPG and by no standards first person shooter, but it still influenced the FPS in many, many ways. The game was black and white and played entirely in first person. Unlike Maze War, moving was actually animated, although it was more or less just a couple of frames between one tile and the next. One thing anyone will notice is this game was entirely controlled by typing commands, such as move, turn left, attack right. It's a rather tedious way to play a real-time first person game, but the slow pace and simple movement means that it's a playable control scheme for Dungeons of Daggerbath. The game includes no real heads-up display of any form. All that it does have is a single heartbeat. The more damage a player receives, or the more tired he is, the faster the heartbeat goes, until either he passes out or dies. Or, the player manages to stand still long enough to slow down his heartbeat without receiving any damage. The game is actually balanced pretty badly, with uh, stronger monsters appearing randomly, including at the very beginning of the game sometimes. Um, it does require many playthroughs before one gets anywhere at all, but nonetheless, you can still see the influence it's had on today's first-person shooter. First of all, it was the first game viewed in first-person to include AI opponents, and although it was more or less the same snapping technology uh, as Maze War, this game does attempt to make it look more convincing with simple animation from tile to tile. The heartbeat system is also surprisingly similar to the health system popularized by Call of Duty 2, where players will recover so long as they're not taking any damage. So, in conclusion, it's a first-person dungeon crawler, and a very primitive one at that. But even this such game has influenced the games we love today, and it can be clearly seen. Tune in next time for our next episode of, um, Origins of the First-Person Shooter. Brain fart. Bye-bye.